I'm Ms. Artastic and in this video art lesson tutorial we're going to be making a lovely harvest theme artwork perfect for autumn or fall. So grab some oil pastels. Yeah. <laughs> and some yeah, is it oil pastel? Oh, it is. It's oil pastel, oil pastel, and some paint. So either watercolor paint or temper paint cakes and something to draw with like a felt marker. Um, but if you don't want to use a permanent marker, you can definitely use pencil crayon or colored pencil, whatever you call it, or a black wax crayon. And let's make some art. Alright, so we're going to be creating a lovely harvest scene and we're going to draw a few characters or things that we harvest in the autumn or fall. Maybe you, if you do Thanksgiving, you might see them then, but these are just lovely harvest sort of things and we're going to turn them into some cute little characters in this artwork. So we're going to begin by drawing an apple on one side and the corn on the other. So we're going to begin on the left side of our paper and we're going to try take something to draw with whether it's a felt marker, a black wax crayon, or a black oil pastel, something that resists some paint. So we're going to take our marker or our thing that we're drawing with and we're just going to draw a nice little wavy line there just for where the apple dips down and allows a stem to grow out of. Above that we're going to draw a nice circle for the top of our stem. And we're gonna draw one curving line down on one side, but on the other side, we're gonna draw a line down out for where our leaf will be attached and back in and then connect. And at any time that I'm going too fast, just hit that lovely pause button and you can always hit rewind at any point um, and watch me do the step over and over and over as many times as you need to help you make it perfect. Out up past that little leaf stem, we're gonna have a dot. And then from the dot, we're gonna draw a nice curve line down and attach on one side, down and attach on the other to make an apple leaf. Next, we're gonna go behind this curve and we're gonna go and start at the stem and we're gonna draw out a line out around and down. And we're of course going to do the same thing on the other side, out, around, and attach. And that makes a lovely apple shape, doesn't it? Okay, in the center, we're gonna draw a straight line. We're gonna connect that line with a letter U from one corner down to the bottom, we're gonna draw a curving line. And then you can color in the dark of that mouth, leaving just the tongue white. Perfect. On either side, we're gonna draw a circle. And in each circle, we're gonna draw one smaller circle and a little half circle around it. And then you can color in the dark of the eye, leaving the other two circles, the color of your paper for now. And my color of my paper is kind of like a burnt orange or a sienna, kind of like an, a, yeah, a darker orange kind of color. And you can use whatever color you want. You can have white paper, and color in your background or paint in your background. You can do yellow or orange, like a bright orange or red, anything that makes you feel like it's autumn. Okay, and we're also gonna add a little sh curving triangle for a shiny spot on our apple. And we'll finish up the rest of the details later. Next on this side, we're gonna draw our corn. So first we're gonna draw two dots about the length of your finger. We're gonna connect the dots. We're gonna draw one line up and around, going one way, 
And we're gonna draw another line going up and around the other way. Bring those lines in to make two corn ears. And then we'll bring them down and connect to the bottom of the line. And we'll also add a bit of stem at the bottom. You can add some line texture in there if you would like. And finally, we'll add our corn cob or, and we'll draw that with some wavy lines. To draw a straight line for the mouth and connect with a U. This time we're going to draw a lowercase letter M in the mouth. Color in the dark of the mouth, leaving the letter M or the tongue white. And then for the eyes, we're gonna draw two circles above. We'll draw one small circle in each eye and color the dark of the eyes, leaving just the circles blank. And below the eyes, we're gonna draw little cheeks by drawing some ovals just below the eyes. Now for some corn texture, I just like to add some hatching lines. And that gives a nice little corn texture. And you can always add some texture or lines on your leaves for some leaf texture, just like that. Perfect. And finally, we're gonna draw a pumpkin back here. So first we're gonna draw in behind here, a nice big oval shape. And then we're gonna connect some curving lines on each side. And we're just going to have them overlapping. So we're not gonna see most of this pumpkin, but this is gonna imply that there's space or depth in our artwork because it's implying that one thing is behind another, right? The pumpkin is behind these other little characters. So it is implying that there's depth in our artwork. And then I'm gonna add one more curvy line just kind of peeking out. I'm not gonna see most of it. skipping over my other characters, just like that. And then I'll add a very short stem. This guy got cut off right up close to that vine. On top of the middle piece. And I'm gonna add some rougher texture this way with some sort of zigzaggy lines. I think I need to give this guy a silly little face. this face we're going to draw I'm gonna draw two curvy lines at the top I'm gonna have to put my face quite high up on my pumpkin and where there is some blank space I'm gonna draw circles touching the top line and I'm gonna draw a curved line below And then I'm gonna color them in, nice and dark. Next, I'm gonna draw little cheeks on either side. And I'm gonna draw a really silly pumpkin mouth, just like that. Now, if you have any remaining space, you can always draw autumn things like acorns or leaves to get into the harvest theme. Maybe I'll do a little acorn up here. You can add also any choice details of things that you notice when it's harvest time or autumn or fall.
whatever you want. You can add your own details in your own art. And once you're done, you're going to go ahead and grab some oil pastels. We're gonna color in some things with our oil pastels and then paint in the rest. So anything that I want to be a solid color or very bright, I'm gonna go ahead and color it with my oil pastels. But I'm gonna leave some things blank because I wanna paint them in. So we wanna have a combination of different mediums and you can pick and choose yourself things that you want to color and things that you want to paint. For example, I want to color my corn cob, but I think I want to paint the leaves. So as an artist, you can decide if you want to color it or if you want to paint it. Or maybe you want to outline some things or add lines with the pastel, but you want to paint the inside. See, maybe I'm gonna outline this, these corn leaves here and even add some more lines for more texture, but I'm gonna paint the rest. So that's an artist's choice. You can decide on your own artwork what you're going to paint and what you're going to color. We each gotta add our own artist flavor to our own artwork. So that way they're all individual and unique. I love using white oil pastel or white wax crayon.
to add highlights on my art. So you can just use that to add a bit of highlights where the light is shining or reflecting off a surface or the whites of the eyes. That's always nice. Once you're done coloring your choice details, you can go ahead and grab your watercolor paints or temper paint cakes, and you can go ahead and paint in the remaining areas. Perfect, and once your lovely artwork is all painted in and filled in, your lovely harvest artwork is done. Hi there, thank you so much for watching the art lesson. Now let's dive into some more ways that you can explore Ms. Artastic art lessons. So this is another way you can explore Artastic lessons. So one, make sure that you go and find me on Instagram and TikTok. I am Artastic.Kids and please follow me, check it out. You'll find lots of different ways to grab art lessons and you'll also find out when new art lessons are dropped to YouTube and other places such as the blog. Next, you can go to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. Make sure that you become a subscriber because my friend, this is where I post a ton of weekly art drawing tutorials or art lessons for you to explore for free at home or in a classroom. And finally, make sure you go to artastickids.com. This is an essential place to go if you are someone, if you're a kid looking to create art or if you're a homeschool parent or if you're just a 
a parent or guardian looking to find art lessons for your kids to allow them to become creative, to prevent the whole let's get started um, at the kitchen table and they are not really wanting to create with their parent, don't worry because I will guide them through the art lessons and I will prevent them from getting stuck at the blank page. I know that is a huge struggle. So check it out, artastickids.com. There you'll find a blog full of free different art lessons, art lesson activity ideas, seasonal art ideas, and so much more, as well as my membership, which is my collection of art lessons online. It is an online streaming art lesson platform for families, homeschool, or classrooms, and you will be able to allow your child to um, stimulate their creative thinking and critical thinking skills, build on their motor skills, as well as they get to enjoy five new art lessons added every single month to the membership every single month. It is a growing art resource library. So you'll get hundreds of art lessons and then every single month, five new ones are added. And it, there are lots of sneak peek preview videos. So make sure you go to artasticids.com, hit the get started button, and I will see you in the membership enjoying new art lessons added every single month.